Anyways, the NHL was much like Nick, not visible for a long time. Mm-hmm. Now it is going to ESPN for a seven-year deal. But how much? How much on the big time ESPN and how much on ESPN Plus? It doesn't matter as long as it's available. I, I think that's the biggest thing is just being able to find a game because mm-hmm. now it's like it, it's you know how March Madness you got to find out where True TV is yep. and you got to do all this. That's what it's like for the NHL. It's like impossible to find games if they go to ESPN. If it's going to be on ESPN Plus, at least you know where it's at. The NHL had its own app, I guess, for a long time that people were pushing and all this shit. Seven-year television streaming and media rights deal with ABC, ESPN, ESPN Plus, and Hulu. Exclusive coverage of Stanley Cup Final on ABC in four of the seven years. Hall, uh, half of Stanley Cup playoffs on ABC and ESPN each season. 25 exclusive national regular season games. 75 national regular season games will stream exclusively on both ESPN Plus and Hulu. Out-of-market streaming package, formerly NHL.TV, okay. available only as part of ESPN Plus subscription. Okay, Ooh. so everything's getting bundled into an area. At least we know where the hell it is. I I like that this is happening. I'm thankful for ESPN doing this for the NHL. Uh, what was the money? It's not anywhere near confirmed yet. This is speculation. It's being speculated at $2 billion. For how long? Seven years. Okay, so the NFL is getting $2.6 billion allegedly from ESPN per year. Uh, for seven years, the NHL is getting $2-some billion from the same company. Uh, obviously, this is good for the NHL. Seems like this is going to be good for ESPN. I just like the fact that hockey is going to be findable. That is yeah. big news, yeah. AJ. Yeah. Well, it's good too because since ESPN has it now, they're going to run it more on Sports Center. All their shows are going to try take, to promote ESPN yeah. Plus. Get up, everything. There's an update on the the actual numbers for the NHL just came out. Okay, uh, seven years, two point eight billion, four hundred million a year. Ooh. Okay, congrats! It was, right. was two hundred wow. million from NBC, I believe. So the NHL gets double wow. that. Maybe Sidney Crosby will be able to be seen by the entire country that the greatest hockey player of all time exists right now and a lot of people don't know that uh hopefully get up we'll talk about that starting tomorrow yeah. abc espn will pay around 2.8 billion over seven years for the rights to the a package the post has learned via andrew marshawn he also put a plus in there i assume that's espn plus as well what do you have nick so i wanted to mention uh the a package there this is half of the nhl tv rights they're going to sell the other half to someone else most likely probably nbc NBC again to double up basically. Okay, oh, a little double dippy. Right. How we doing? Well, it looks like double the 200, which is what I just said. Is she did. Paying. It really isn't. I'm told NBC is paying 240 million for this year, while ESPN already had a pre-existing deal through its BAM acquisition hmm. for 100 million, making the increase more moderate at 60 million. This makes sense for the NHL because it will now do a second deal with either the incumbent NBC or Fox or a wild card. Ooh. Maybe Bezos gets in a game oh, where they man. will get the upside of the increase with the two partners. Andrew Marchand reports in a very sophisticated manner. So the NHL is making money. They're going to be visible. That's all I read right there. Let's go. Hopefully they have enough money in the uh, you know, the pool to bring back the fucking Levy Lounge with uh, Barry Melrose. Yes. Barry Melrose is going to be rolled back out there. We need him back. We talked about that last night on the uh, Twitter Spaces thing, actually. Yeah. We did talk about Barry Melrose last night. Yeah, apparently Barry's already been hiding on ESPN+. Plus. So Barry still does TV? Oh, yeah. God damn it. See, that's what I'm that talking about. You promoted. can't watch games. You can't watch Barry. I mean, the NHL has a problem with promotion. Barry's on late night on Sports Center sometimes, too. They do around the ice. Really? There 1, 2 a.m.? Yeah. Real, that's good. That's Eastern time where most of the hockey fans are, they have no idea he yeah. fucking exists. No clue. Deep asleep at that point.